right now uh, we thought it would be nice if we, as the general summary actually of the three days we spent with each other, um, trying to return to the source of religion, philosophy and science, uh, just have share a few ideas that, that, or insights that you have got uh, when you go back to your own lodge and uh, have to explain to some fellow theosophists, okay, yeah, you've been to ITC, okay, what, what is it about? So, what would you what would you share? What is the the, the thing that you would say? The, the the lesson you learned, the insight that you had, and maybe we can just have uh, share some remarks on that. And it doesn't have to be in one sentence. I I won't twist your arm. So. <laughs> Just short. Um, I think what I hear and what I experience is everybody's got something to say, and that's why the discussion in the study circles were quite lively and active and um, educational. So that was a very definite impression. So the people in my lodge who who didn't attend ITC all said, well, I'll be really interested in hearing you know, what it was about. And one person said, so is this just going to be all theoretical or is it going to be practical? And I found it very practical. Um, I learned a lot. Um, uh, and I really liked the, uh, the question, too, about developing these uh, these concepts in ourselves and stimulating them in others. Um, that's what, to me, that's what theosophy is, is how do I live it? Um, so yes, I found it very practical and I am looking forward to talking to all those people who want to know what it was like. <laughs> okay. Maybe I can add just to that what you said before, Linda, uh, that it was also becoming very clear that when you start to look at a problem, you must really have first a very clear definition of what you are looking for. So, and, and I, I found that very interesting that for the quest, first question, so what is science, what is philosophy in the theosophical sense, we were always quite struggling a lot. And then afterwards, when it came to the practical, it was clearer. It came was more and more that we formulated as a group the practical side of uh, these insights. And I found it very inspiring that we came all from uh, with different backgrounds to um, very harmonious discussion and understanding. both the dynamics within the discussion groups and the dynamics in this group as a whole was a living demonstration, given those different backgrounds, of unity and diversity. And I really appreciate that. Uh, I found in these uh, three days of uh, pondering these questions that um, they seem like obvious questions that we should have considered as students of theosophy if we've studied the, the philosophy for any length of time. But I found a day's topic was particularly difficult and that I'd never asked that question before. And, and uh, it was really, uh, in, you know, uh, educational to kind of deal, uh, grapple, uh, wrestle, actually, with that question in our first, uh, uh, you know, in our first session this morning to try and come to some kind of formulation in our minds about, uh, you know, uh, what science is in a theosophical sense. And I think it was a really worthwhile exercise. I think all of us had a lot more clarity and a bit more precision in our understanding.
Well, I've never been to one of these things. <laughs> and I didn't know if I was going to have anything I could say, or I'd even understand the questions and the answers. But Nancy said, you will speak, I'm sure, which, which I did. Uh, but I think the thing that impressed me is that people can express their ideas in a very intelligent way without hubris and in a heartfelt way. And uh, that's very refreshing from the, the scientific model where everything is so stiff and hard. And it's like, you know, I feel like my heart is like clamping down and I should run out of the room. But I didn't feel like that here. Uh, and the other thing that I really loved was that regardless of how anyone looked, or how they spoke, because we had so many different accents, mine being one of them, <laughs> that, um, that there was a thread that ran through all of us of um, justice for all humanity, and everyone seems to have a deep um, willing to sacrifice at a level we, where we don't even know what we're sacrificing, but we're willing to do that in order to bring the vision of Blavatsky of this universal brotherhood into being and that we that everyone is on this search to figure out how to do this and that no one will rest until it is accomplished. No, no, this, it's a, this is a, a serious philosophical uh, question. So, yeah, like the soup, like the soup. So, uh, this is very famous in all South America. So, the question is, how does an Argentinian kill himself or herself? So, they climb to the top of their ego and they jump. Because they say that we are very arrogant and, you know, are typically Argentinians. And we were saying that we don't identify ourselves with, you know, male and female, so I told that joke. But. Thank you. Okay. Well, I think we did take that as a closing remark then for our... <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. I thank you all for sharing. Well, thank you all for sharing. Uh, then we have uh, uh, the closing with uh, the precedents. We start in a diff little different order than was said in the program with Barbara and then Herman and then Jean will, will close off. Thank you. I have my notes on my phone. I'm not making a call <laughs> or taking a picture of you to post on social network. I would like to thank all of you for being here. Having you all here at Alcott has meant so much to me personally, to our staff, and I think to the world. So please don't go to Brazil next year. <laughs> we'll call Marcos and tell him you can't make it, that you're coming back here. At least at least put us into your seven-year plan a little sooner, um, because it's a joy. I, I stand in awe of the harmonious community that has been created these last few days. And when I think of the ripples going out into the world of harmony, of deep thought, and of community, I can only feel joy. I'd like to echo the words, and I was sitting over here, so I didn't see who said them. This has been a living expression of unity in diversity. Thank you for saying that, because it is so, so true. Our roots have been nourished. May we take this nourishment back to our groups and to our communities and allow it to nurture the growth of our theosophical tree. Thank you so much. He's gonna put me on social media. Oh my goodness. Barbara, 
We like to thank you for your hospitality and the very nice atmosphere you created and a very good way of working. All your staff downstairs and everything was supported. Yeah. I'll, cl I'll clap for our staff, too. <laughs> yes. But there was a small problem. We say, OK, we have to give you the center. We give you something. And then we were thinking, oh, this should be not much of a problem. We look around for a nice book. Yeah. And then we look in your marvelous library, and we come to the conclusion, you have them almost all. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> so it was a little bit of a problem. Although, we search around, and you get from the Point Loma tradition and the ULT, nice books uh, from the Point Loma. There is an overlap, but we discover in your catalog that the one you have is not for loan. So you have a double now. You can, how do you say it, put it for loan. And thank you very much. Oh, thank what a blessing. Much. What a blessing. Thank you all so much. Nothing is better to give a theosophist than books. Oh my gosh. I won't keep them. I will bring them to the library. Janet will keep an eye on me. Thank you. So, a few words as uh, vice uh, president. Um, we uh, and my uh, wife, Johanna, we had the opportunity to be here earlier and take also part in the uh, SNC, but we also found a very nice experience. And so it is not much that we have two conferences back to back. Um, we noticed that it is a little bit of uh, exercises for your brain to keep them running for all the days. But I think it works. So I think we are very, very happy to be here. Uh, we were very happy by the active communication and working groups we had. And we learned so much from each other that if I was seeing the outcome of uh, the working uh, groups every day, uh, sometimes I was asking myself, how do you merge that together to a number of lines, but that I think was a little bit asked too much. And the way Pablo what was doing is, was also, let's say, very relaxing, but also very inspiring. So to be here was a great success to us, and uh, we're looking certainly forward to be here again. And um, I think uh, we can at least put you on the planning, yeah? <laughs> so to start with, uh, we have reasonable far commitments with uh, Brazil, so that will be a little bit hard. We don't want to have uh, enemies in the uh, Theosophical Society ADI, it is also not far away. So, but I think we should really consider it for another time, because we had such a nice experience. But the main thing for me, what I have learned now over the years in ITC, is that if, if Theosophical people coming together regardless of which tradition they are coming, and you have the openness and you have the willing to exchange, it is always becoming great and a success. Thank you very much. <laughs> Whoa. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, uh, uh, again, we said the thank you, but, but really, I mean, the attitude of the staff, the support of the staff, the willingness of the staff, um, and, and as I ate, as I got full, I was just so thankful because the, 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 the food was phenomenal. 
And um, after eating, we all typically rush to the bathroom, and it dawned on me that the bathrooms were clean. They were spotless. I thought about all of the little lives that everyone has been talking about as I looked at the toilet paper and the paper towels that I just saw in the garbage. Just we we'll, 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 we use them. And so everything in this environment, I, I would just like to say on behalf of the membership and the board, thank you. I mean, it's just been a real wonderful feeling being here. Um, I would like to thank all of you, because without you, this couldn't have happened. Um, I would like to thank you for being open. I would like to thank you for being honest. Um, as the statements were made, the conversations sometimes were deep. They were from different perspectives. They required a, a lot of shifting out of our zones of normality, but you did that. And nowhere did I sense any kind of identity in terms of I'm coming from here and you're over there. As it was expressed, there is no other. And, and that was a real feeling that was present here, which was truly wonderful to be a part of. Um, I always like to think of the teachers. And so if we think and reflect really from day one, from the opening intro to the words Irwin used to gather us together to the intro talk on integral religion, philosophy, science, theosophy, and all of the talks that followed, when, if we can get these together in publication, and you read them, you will see an intelligence in that flow that was, I felt, awesome. And the question is, where did it come from? It came from us, but yet not. And so I want to read you this because it borders on the next concept that I'm going to close up with. This is from The Secret Doctrine, stanza three, I'm sorry, um, stanza one, verse three. When all the existences are dissolved, the universal mind remains as a permanent possibility of mental action or as that abstract absolute thought of which mind is the concrete relative manifestation. The Ahi Dian Chohans are the collective host of spiritual beings, the angelic host of Christianity, the Elohim, the messengers of the Jews, who are the vehicle for the manifestation of the divine or universal thought and will. They are the intelligent forces that give to and enact in nature her laws, while themselves acting according to laws imposed upon them in a similar manner by still higher powers. And I read that in line of what has happened as all of you have come together from different traditions, from different perspectives, from no traditions, and what happened through you as a result of all of the work that was done simply by sharing. And it brings to mind for me the power of universal brotherhood. What can happen? What can be drawn out? What can be used? What problems can be solved? And so if I can find it, the last note that I will read is from the Mahatma letters. And this is letter six. And it says, we have a duty set before us, that of sweeping away as much as possible the dross left to us by our pious forefathers. New ideas have to be planted on clean places for these ideas to touch upon the most momentous subjects. 
It is not physical phenomena, but these universal ideas that we study. As to comprehend the former, we have to first understand the latter. They touch man's true position in the universe in relation to his previous and future births, his origin and ultimate destiny, the relation of the mortal to the immortal, of the temporary to the eternal, of the finite to the infinite, ideas larger, grander, more comprehensive, recognizing the universal reign of immutable law, unchanging and unchangeable in regard to which there is only an eternal now. While to uninitiated mortals, time is past or future as related to their finite existence on this material speck of dirt. This is what we study and what many have solved. And now it is your province to decide which you will have, the highest philosophy or simple exhibitions of occult powers. The chiefs want a brotherhood of humanity, a real universal fraternity started, an institution which would make itself known throughout the world and arrest the attention of the highest minds. Will you be my coworker? That's a question for all of us. And so once again, I would like to say thank you to each and all. Uh, we do have an evaluation form that will be available, and that's your honest critique of what we've done, what we can do better, what you would like, and hopefully that will help us progress. And again, bring folks together in a universal brotherhood sense so that we can focus some of that universal mind in a way in a world that is practical, viable, alive, and inspirational for everyone. Thank you. Thank you.